Hi, well, congratulations. I love the film. Thank you. Is this, um, is this the right? Is this the right interview? Are you a model or a hoax? What's happening uh, here? Dion. What's going on here, man? <laughs> Thank you very much. But I gotta say, I you had me in this cat and mouse chase the entire time. I felt like I was playing along with this whodunit murder mystery, and I had it wrong up until the very end of the film. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You do that so well. You play bad very well. And I'm wondering what it was about being the femme fatale that really attracted you to the role. Well, it's not something I've ever done before. And that's what Dion said. Dion said, you know, can I meet with you and talk to you about this movie? I have this idea. And I said, absolutely, can't wait. Um, and he said, you know, I don't know why you haven't done this before and you should be doing this. And um, let me pitch this idea. And I loved it. He, he pretty much had me at hello. Um, and uh, I just thought it would be really fun to dive into something that um, in my 29 year career, I hadn't embarked on. Yeah. Two time Academy Award winning actress in a Dion Taylor film. How does that work? And according to Dion's success, he writes these letters to people that make everyone say yes to him. So what was it that he said to convince you to take on this role? Well, first of all, Dion is this unique beam of light and he is his optimism is completely infectious. And it's just a genuine love for the human race and what he does. Um, he loves telling stories about people and he loves to entertain and he loves people to shine their brightest. And I think that that's such a rare quality. He doesn't have any, like, um, he wants everyone to do well. You know, he, there's no like, you know, oh, I wanna do better than you kind of weird stuff. Um, he just wants to bring everyone to their A game. He's like the best coach you could ever have on your team. And um, so when he sat down with me, it was the same thing. It was immediately like, yes, you know, um, let's figure this out and make this happen. And um, it turned out like, as we kept going, his infectious ability to like direct and um, get his ideas across to everybody, keep everyone motivated on 19 hour days where, you know, we were just like, burning the midnight oil and whatever it was, he was just there every second of the way for every single person, you know, even the crafty, you know, it's just like he, everyone is just as important as the next. So you're both invested in this, not only as an actress, but you're a producer, Dion is the director. And we've been talking to Dion about this film ever since the pandemic hit. So now that it's being released in theaters, what's that feeling like and I personally think that it's the best timing yet because I've been watching kitty movies throughout this entire <laughs> pandemic. And it's about time that we have a sexy, you know, psychological, suspenseful thriller out now. Yeah, you gotta go to the theater. That's, that's why we did it. Look, here's the thing. When you, when you make these films as an independent filmmaker, you pray for them to go to the theater, period. There's no if and buts about it. So when I learned that there was a program called Cinema Safe, and AMC and all the other theaters were actually putting programs together where people could actually go to the theater safely. I was the first one in line, like, <laughs> we, we're right here, like we're ready to go. And, and look, it's important. It, it, film act as escapism for all of us. And the reality is so many people are, across the country right now are just kind of sitting at home, like, man, I would love to just get out of the house for a moment. So understanding that there's a safe way to actually do that, here's an opportunity for you at Christmas time to actually go out and see an incredible film. And what better movie to see than mm -hmm. the dopest Hillary, you got Hillary Swank, don't make me, don't make me go crazy on the show right now. You got <laughs> Hillary Swank. Michael Obviously, Ely. Listen, not, not just Michael Ely, blue eyed Michael Ely. You got Michael Ely, Hillary Swank, Mike Coulter, Tyron Turner, it's a beautiful film. And like you just said a moment ago, it is a movie that you need to go see. To in, like, it, it's an entertaining movie. So it's not a kid's movie. It's not a, oh my God, I'm finna cry movie. It's a like, damn, I'm happy I came to the movie movie. <laughs> I know most of my movies, you're like, dang, I'm gonna cry. Not this <laughs> No, this was great. 
It was so great to watch. I will watch it again and I will encourage everyone to watch it because I think it's absolutely fabulous. So uh, thank you for that and uh, happy holidays. Thanks, happy holidays. Natasha, happy holidays to you. And, and, and send me one of them pillows back there, one of them uh, fur pillows. Let me have one. <laughs> <laughs> give me that one send me that one to my house i will you got it well canada post is a little slow right now but it'll get there eventually right. thank you okay.